Matt from David Motorsports here, and today we're going to talk about the Focus ST shop car. So we got this car back in 2017, so 2016 for Focus ST. Uh, initial plan with it was to make parts, design parts off of it, and kind of be a new toy car for me. Well, as I like to do with most cars, took it to the racetrack and found out quickly that there is a lot of little issues with these cars, especially when it comes to driving them at the limit. So the first track that we went to with this car was Gingerman Raceway in Michigan. Uh, right away we noticed that the brakes were an issue, boiled the brake fluid, uh, the rotors looked like Saturn's rings after the first track day with it. Uh, so the next time we came back we upgraded the brakes on it, uh, just at the time the Focus RS had just come out, so we were able to dive into the Ford part bin, parts bin and get the RS Brembos on the front of the car. Uh, so that helped out and that fixed our braking issues. Quickly we saw other improvements that could be made on the car. So then we started to focus more on suspension with the car, get it to handle corner a bit more flatter. Uh, from the factory, these cars tend to body roll quite a bit. Uh, we also upgraded the rear sway bar to help fix a little bit of the snappiness of the factory sway bar. So every time we do these upgrades, we eke a little bit more out of the car, able to get the lap times down a little bit quicker. Um, right now where the car sits, it's probably about a 143 at Gingerman. Uh, and this is of course on mostly stock powertrain. Uh, on our dyno, the car makes about 250 wheel horsepower. Um, so a little bit bump over stock, but you know, could always add more. Not the wheels off, you can actually see some of the components that we've changed out on this car. Uh, we have the Ford Focus RS Brembos on the car, as well as the rotors. Uh, we also run G-Lock pads on it. Uh, so we run both a street and a higher temperature track compound. So that way we can drive the car to the track, swap out pads relatively quickly and easily with these calipers, and then go to the more aggressive track temperature compound. We're also running Bilstein B14 coilovers with, uh, we've changed out the spring rates on it for a stiffer spring along with four slide camber plates. The camber plates allow us to change the springs on it, as well as add more camber and caster. Uh, so this way we can really kind of fine tune how we want the alignment with the car and the suspension. We've also changed out the knuckles on the car to the Ford Focus RS knuckles. So this allows some suspension geometry correction, as well as roll center correction with the car. We're also running our own proprietary end links that we may come out with for the vehicle. Uh, so these are spherical rod ends. These allow for tons of clearance, uh, which is an issue a lot of people have with this car. As soon as you add camber, you can actually start contacting the frame where the end link sits once you add more camber. Um, we're also running brake ducts on the car, uh, just to allow the brakes to run a little bit cooler on track. So one thing we've focused a lot of our attention on this car is cooling modifications. Uh, these cars, as well as anyone who's ever taken a Focus ST on track will know, they run really high. Uh, so a lot of cases you can't really sustain a full 20 or 30 minute track day session just simply because the car is going to overheat and go into limbo. Uh, one of the first things we did was we did these hood vents, which will help extract hot air from the radiator out of the hood. Uh, so that did help a little bit, mainly with cool down laps, didn't fully really help the car cool off. So we went on to the next step, which was our oil cooler that we're testing. We noticed oil temps were really high, wanted to lower those. So we are able to maintain and keep good oil temps on track. However, the car was still running very hot. Uh, so the next thing we did was we added a radiator on the car. So this did help us keep coolant temps a bit more under control. Um, we've also changed out the intercooler because the factory one tends to heat soak on track, run a bit hot. So we were able to get a bit more power out of that as well. Uh, Another thing we've done is frontal ducting on the car. So stuff you can't really see with the bumper on, there's some metal shields and some plastic shields that we've kind of customized under there so that way we can direct the airflow where we want it to go. So we're not wasting any of the air that comes in through the front. Uh, so yeah, all these kind of cooling mods helped keep the car cool on track where we can extend, you know, past the 30 minute track day session. Uh, we've also done some safety equipment on the inside. The car's got a uh, basic four-point bolt-in roll cage, along with a Sparco racing seat and a six-point FIA certified harness. Uh, so yeah, a lot of little things have gone into this car to make it somewhat worthy track toy. And so with this car, we've taken it to quite a few tracks, mainly all here around the Midwest. 
uh, Cars Vendage Ingerman, it's been to Audubon Country Club, and all three variations of the track layout that they have there. We've also taken it to Groton this past year. Uh, Road America was also a new track for it. Uh, and we've also taken it to Putnam Park, which is a little track in Indiana that I really like. Hope you've enjoyed a bit more of an in-depth look into our Focus ST shop car. Uh, stay tuned for more updates on the car as we continuously build it strictly more for track use. So there's gonna be big brakes coming, even bigger than the ones that are on the car. We're also gonna be changing out suspension a bit, uh, different coilovers as well as changing out a lot of bushings, as well as a bigger turbo. So that way we can add a bit more power, start catching up to those 911s on track. See you next time.